Second piece. Ready? Here we go. Again, I know we're in the chewy stage. But we'll go back here. This is good. Um, I want to see... How many guys are uh, Sales Funnel Radio listeners again? Woo! It's like most of the room. That's awesome. Uh, Secret MLM Hacks Radio? Woo! Nice. I know a lot of you guys are as well. Um, Pursuit of Profit listener? Oh, it's the new show. None of you seen it. <laughs> There's no episodes on it yet. Oh, my land to sun. What? I'll tell you more about that in a little bit. <laughs> it's so good. Okay, but there's, it's, it's because of this principle I'm going to walk you through right here. We're actually going to be uh, relaunching um, a new show. Uh, anyway, one of the reasons I went into the MLM space was because of this thing. How many uh, people like podcasts in general? Uh, okay, video, blog readers. I hate blog, which is why most of you guys aren't as well, but that's fine. Yeah, blog readers. Okay, uh, Twitter. What's that? Right, what's that? Yeah. Twitter, okay, we got a lot of Twitter people. That's fine. And then, um, I don't know, uh, Instagram. I'm still trying to get into uh, Instagram, honestly. <laughs> um, okay, uh, content is huge, right? Um, what I want to see um, is I want to see where the content is, like the state of the content inside of a market. Let's check this out. Okay. <laughs> This goes back to, um, I call it the brain on drugs. <laughs> We're gonna come back to this content thing real quick here, but you need to understand why this is so powerful. Um, how many happy drugs are there in the brain? Four. four. There are four happy drugs in the brain, and they are dopamine, dopamine oxytocin, serotonin, serotonin endorphins. endorphins. Okay, dopamine, and this is why we do what we do. And this is why marketers are good at being marketers. It's because I know how to cause dopamine in your own brain, right? Check this out. So I'm gonna go to the red ocean. I'm gonna go to the market that I'm gonna sell into. Let's say it's the website space. And I'm gonna go to them and I say, how are these people consuming dopamine of their own will? Dopamine is the chemical of distractions. We love dopamine. It is the easiest to get of all four of those hormones. It is the one that they engineer the most for us to get addicted to in Facebook is videos of Mark Zuckerberg saying that, right? Uh, that they engineer tons of addiction inside of Facebook. Um, which I'm not here to say whether or not it's good or bad. It's just the reality, okay, of what they do. Okay, how is my future dream customer getting distracted? What is their choice of dopamine? Um, easiest way to cause that for me? I just create more content, create more options. How many of you guys, when you're like doing something really hard and they like, get a notification, Sales phone or radio, like you'll drop what you're doing and go listen to it, right? Yeah, <laughs> I see a few hands like, okay, yeah, 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 right? Why? Because you're awesome. Because I'm awesome, thank you. <laughs> dopamine, though, that's why. It's a dopamine hit. How many times do you guys check your Facebook a day? The average person picks their phone up with or without notifications over 72 times a day now. 72. You may not, you, have you ever had the fan, they call it the phantom vibration now. Yeah. You ever had that? Like, oh, that was something. Oh, it wasn't something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're getting us, right? <laughs> Work for the system or build one. Okay. Um, okay, the next chemical that I'm going to go look inside of the website or whatever your market is going to be, um, oxytocin. And oxytocin is very powerful. It's actually the chemical that we seek the most. It's the chemical of connection. We will give up our religion. We will give up our relationships. We will give up our businesses to get oxytocin. Oxytocin is the one where if we don't really get much of it, we feel kind of a hole in our lives. It's a very, very, very big deal. And our brains create this stuff with or without the marketing stuff I'm talking about, okay? But this is, this is uh, a bit, uh, powerful to understand. Oxytocin is a very, very powerful one. And when you get a sense of connection with people, boom, oxytocin is the one uh, that they love hearing from you guys. Uh, one of the easiest ways to cause that inside people's brains is through buying. When they buy stuff, huge levels of connection. It's why we'll buy certain brands of, frankly, sometimes the exact same t-shirt with one with a different word on it. Connection. Same with the next one here, which is serotonin status. Serotonin is the chemical of status. I don't necessarily mean like, I'm better than you, but it's our sense of validation. Okay, when we look around at other people and we need to say like, um, um, in fact, I'll tell you, so 
uh, giving audiences identity shifts, giving some an individual an identity shift, huge serotonin boost. The reason that we'll ship out a t-shirt to you when you buy, capitalist pig, right? It's a huge level of serotonin boost. Is anyone, am I offending anybody now that you know our tricks? Like, <laughs> are we good still? Yes? Is that all right? Is this cool to learn? Yeah. yeah? Okay, awesome. <laughs> Okay, but this is how the chemicals work in the brain. The better you understand behavioral psychology, the better natural marketer you'll be. Okay. Endorphins. Endorphins um, are the chemical of work reward. How many of you guys are uh, runners? Yep. Yeah, cool. You run. Um, how many of you guys are, you know, the runner's high? The first, like, two laps kind of sucks, right? And then what happens? Oh, man, I feel good. All right? It's endorphins start flooding the body. Okay? It only comes with work reward. They must put into something in order to receive that chemical back. Okay? One of the easiest ways to call this is cause this inside of uh, a customer is step-by-step -step guides. Okay? That helps us feel progression. On, not only does it increase success rate, what they're doing is checking the box. Oh, the act. Have you guys ever completed a task and then added it to your to-do list so you could check it off? I do that all the time. And I even know what's going on. I'm like, give me that hit, baby. You know, you know what I'm saying? That's what's happening though. These are the four chemicals of the brain that your brain produces, but what causes them? Distractions or dopamine is the easiest to get. Oxytocin is the one they are begging for the most. Funny enough, we're detribing so much. So they really want this from you guys and your products. Make sure you create some kind of connection with them. Okay, now what does this have to do with the content piece? Um, when I started looking at the, the MLM space, um, and I'll, I'll tell you guys, one of the things that'll help you guys really gain a massive edge with whatever you're selling, what is the, ask yourself, what is the quality of the content in each of these markets? Okay, so I'm going to look over in the website space and I'm going to say, what is, I read that was, I hit my arm hard. <laughs> um, <laughs> looks like, anyway. Um, what is the quality of the content though in this market? How well are they serving their customers? How well is the, how good is the content in this space? How well are they serving their customers? Okay, so what I did is I was trying to figure out which market to go into and I was looking at the MLM space and I was looking to see that there wasn't anyone serving them in that manner and there wasn't really that amazing content. <laughs> I went to Amazon and I looked at the top books and I bought them all. And I started rifling through them. And you know what I found? Not much. <laughs> okay. Then I went to iTunes and I started looking on iTunes. I started on all the podcasts and I looked up MLM and network marketing, all those places. You know what I found? Not much. Kind of some steamy garbage. Okay. <laughs> all right. Blogging was the only place that they had a little bit of a pres presence in as a market. Um, YouTube had a little bit of presence as well, but it was mostly like rah, rah, you can get it stuff, no real tactic, you know what I'm saying? And it frustrated me. That is an opportunity. Ryan Holiday, um, one of my favorite authors. Is he on here? Uh, uh, you heard of the book, Trust Me, I'm Lying? Yes? You guys heard that back? Great book, right? Oh, man. He talks about in there that those who control content control belief. Whoa. Hmm. So if I was gonna to try to control a market, I need to control their beliefs. And in order to control their beliefs, what's the current quality of the content they're consuming right now? This is big. It's the reason why I went all in on secret MLM Hacks radio. So I realized like, dang, the content there's really quite bad, right? Which is a benefit. So all I did is I started telling more stories. Stories change belief, let me tell more stories. And we've started becoming basically a media company and just bam, 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 bam. And what's happened is we've ruffled a lot of feathers, which brings me joy. Okay, <laughs> okay. anyway. Um, here's the point with this though. Um, is that, that's cool, yeah? yeah. How, super helpful? That's good stuff. Um, so again, uh, I wanna see the trading volumes, meaning I wanna see how much mar money's moving around in there. I wanna see, what the quality of the content is inside of these markets. And this really is how I choose what the foundation will be for my entire product and everything that I'm building, okay? Now, a lot of people, how many, is anyone here like, and I'm asking generally, I still don't know what my market's going to be? Anyone asking? 
Okay, yeah. Most people ask that. Um, if you can't name your market off the top of your head, it's probably not large enough for you, it to even be a foundation. So it's, it's not like, oh, I'm over here in like this niche, 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 niche. And then that's my market. I'm talking big, massive, broad things that have been there forever, right? That's the kind of market you want to choose. Does that help a little? Okay, choose something that's massive, highly competitive, bloody, lots of volume going through it, okay? Where the content is like, meh, not that it needs to be terrible, but where there's opportunity for you to go and start pumping more content in. And that's uh, one, of the, one of the easiest ways to pull that off, okay? Does that help? Yeah. Is that good stuff? Yeah. These are like my secrets to how, I'm, how I do I know it's like the same three levers I pull every time I go to a corporate client. They're always terrible at this stuff. Usually the kind of company that has survived because of the product, not because they have a good company. You know what I mean? Uh, or vice versa, but it's hardly ever the same, both.